Hi everyone, Jared here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing something that I never thought I'd ever get. Well, this package was actually donated to me. Before we get more into the video, I just want to make a quick disclaimer. Um, I am in school, and as a lot of people are starting to do this, Uploads are probably going to be um, less frequent. So, hope you kind of understand what's going on here. So, what's going on in this unboxing, I may ask? Well, let me show you. So, we have this. And I know it's not really in the frame very well but on the box it said firelight of hopes the industry firehouse for over 50 years now before i get into it well actually let me save it till later because right now i don't want to ruin the surprise well, if you have seen it on Instagram, you'll probably already know what it is. But, let's go ahead and open this up. But before we do that, I want to acknowledge that I do love the exterior of the box. The dog, the old Firelight logo. Um, you don't see those much anymore. So, let's go ahead and open this up. I gotta be trying to, I gotta try to be careful with this, excuse me, I'm, it's late at night when I'm filming this, so, I will tell you this, just by feeling it, there is a hell of a lot of tape on here. So all the information is on the back, so hopefully, let me see if I can find a good way to, the internet may be right in here. There we go. Now I don't wanna I wanna be extra careful now that I scratch this up. Okay. I'm gonna do it a different way. Let's try this way. Perhaps this is the way I should have started in the first place. It's going to take me a little bit. Okay, after spending about two hours opening the box, no, not really. All you have to do is just open this up and open it up together on camera. So, let's do it. Again. All right, let's see what it is in three, two, one. This is a fire alarm control panel. And I believe these are the keys to open it. So let's get this in here. Or let's grab this thing here. 
That tip is really strong. Mm. And yes. Firelight key. Just for now, I think I'm going to take you off the tripod just so you can see what's inside, so let's do that. Okay, before I get into this panel, I do want to thank Will or System Center Firework Guy for donating this panel to me. I'll have a link to his channel, YouTube channel, the link to his Instagram uh, in the... Description below so you can check him out. Please go give him a follow go give him a like please He basically sent this panel I don't know if I said it or not as a starter panel this is a good panel for starters so He no longer wanted it and he wanted this panel to go to someone um, as a starter. Apparently that was me. So, he sent this to me. So, as I said, please go give him some love. So, as you can see, this is a two-zone panel. I'll talk about what that is in a second. But let's go ahead and open this up. As I'm sticking the key in the wrong way. And I'm sticking the key in the wrong way again. Oh, this is fun. Okay, this is going to be quite... A task for me to wire up. Now, these are your battery cables for plugging your batteries in. I have no idea what this is here. I really have no idea what some of this stuff is. I gotta clean this out too. So we got battery, a battery jumper, we got these, I don't even know what these are. These are your, I know these are your end of line resistors. And we got buttons here. We got walk test. Um, give you a little... Better look at the. We have knowledge, alarm silent, reset, walk test. Now, this was not going to be my first panel. This is actually a panel I actually never wanted. I don't like the panel at all. Now, I'll give you a few reasons. One of them is because this panel has AC voltage or full wave rectifier, which means I cannot run that, that. On this panel. I mean I could. But. I'm going to take the alarm up there for example. That alarm runs on. 24 volts DC. This panel runs on AC voltage. Which means. If I run that on the panel. 
eventually it'll stop working and die. So, yeah. That's one of the reasons why I don't like these panels. Another reason is these things are fragile. So you do have to be somewhat careful with the panels. If you look over here, you have your instruction and which magicker uh, inspection tag, know it all, stuff like that. I don't perceive this panel uh, starting up anytime soon. It's because I just don't have the time to get parts at the moment. Um, one of them, in order for me to run the 49 3s up here, on here, is I'm going to need an AC to DC rectifier. Um, otherwise, I can't run the 49 3s on here. I'm going to need an extension cord to supply the panel with power. And I have to get batteries for this panel at some point. Ooh, look, Beaky. Um, which, from my understanding, if you wire the panel a certain way, you can basically hack the panel into thinking it does have batteries when it doesn't. Another firelight key. Gimme, give gimme. Give so, <clears throat> once I start getting more parts for this panel, I'll try to see if I can get this scene up and running. My goal in for this, well, it really isn't a goal because I, I don't have an, an estimate timeline when I want to get this thing up and running. I don't foresee it getting started until after Christmas, unfortunately. I just don't have the time to get parts at the moment. But once I find them, I'm going to try everything I can to get this thing up and running. Um, this panel was not the panel that I originally thought of getting. My first panel was either going to be a 4005 4, or a 4010 panel from Simplex. Maybe down the road, if I get rid of this panel, I'll <coughs> see about getting a different one. So yeah, that's what this is. This is a... 2 zone fire alarm control panel. I hope you all enjoy. Hope we need to have this thing up and running soon. And I guess have a good day. Or good night. Whenever. I'm going to bed. Because I'm tired.